Unit 34. One syllable prefixes. The following examples contain one syllable prefixes that are usually unstressed. Repeat these words cooperate, continue, committee, deliver, discuss. Exhibit. Enough. Mistake. Prepare. Protest. Reward. Certain one syllable prefixes usually have secondary stress. Repeat the examples Biology. Inept, irresponsible, malnourished, non poisonous, panorama, postpone, rewrite, sublet, transfer. Unhappy. Vice President. Unit thirty five. Two syllable prefixes. When a two syllable prefix forms a three syllable word, there is usually primary stress on the first syllable, an unstressed second syllable, and secondary stress on the third syllable. Repeat the following examples Antidate, Antifreeze, Automat. Circumcise. Counterpoint. Microscope. Monorail. Multiply. Universe. Ultrasound. When two syllable prefixes form a word of four or more syllables, there is usually secondary stress on the first syllable, no stress on the second, and primary stress on the third. The remaining syllables are unstressed. Repeat the next examples Antecedent, Antisocial, Automatic. Circumvention, counterclockwise, hyperactive, hypodermic, interaction, microscopic, monolingual, polyester. Universal, multinational, ultraviolet. Some exceptions to this pattern are as follows. Repeat them after the speaker Automobile, Anticipate, Antipathy, Antiquity. Antithesis, Monopoly, Monogamous, Monotony.
Unit 36. Suffixes. Suffixes are almost always unstressed. Say the vowel sound quickly and with your mouth almost closed, but pronounce the consonant sounds in these syllables distinctly. Repeat the following words that end in unstressed one syllable suffixes. Noun suffixes. Importance. Important. Graduate. Employee. Occurrence. Current. Driver. Socialist. Government. Expansion. Handsome. Attention. Adjective suffixes. Musical. Current. Braver. Bravest. Helpful. Automatic. Excessive. Multiple. Jealous. Verb suffixes. Wanted. Uses. Reading. Adverb suffixes. Slowly. Happily. Rapidly. The following one-syllable suffixes are exceptions. They have secondary stress. Repeat them after the speaker. Noun suffixes. Holiday. Photograph. Attitude. Verb suffixes. Graduate. Qualify. Criticize. The suffixes of the following examples have primary stress. Repeat these words. The noun suffix ear. Pioneer. Racketeer. Auctioneer. The adjective suffix ease. Japanese. Lebanese. Sudanese. Some suffixes have two syllables. Both are unstressed. Repeat the following examples. Noun suffixes. Senator. Stenographer. Thermometer. Unison. Nationality. Biology. Adjective suffixes. Capable. Canadian. Sensible. Radical. Prettier. Silliest. Superior. Sensory. Adverb suffixes. Practically. Privately. Permanently. Competitively. Seriously. The following two examples are exceptions to the pattern. They have primary stress on the first syllable of the suffix. Repeat the words. Formation. Evidently. Now repeat the following nouns that have secondary stress on the first syllable of the suffix. Inventory. Dictator. Mediator. Socialism. Some suffixes may cause the stress of the basic word form to shift to another syllable. In the examples, you will hear the basic word first, then the word with a suffix and a new stress pattern. Read each word as you repeat it.
Apology. Apologetic. Curious. Curiosity. Economy. Economics. Irony. Ironic. Negotiate. Negotiation. Photograph. Photographer. Photography. Politics. Politician. Public. Publication. Publicity. Scholar. Scholastic. Unit thirty seven. Sentence stress. When several words are spoken together in a phrase or sentence, certain words are stressed and others are spoken more softly and quickly. Listen to the following examples of sentences formed with only stressed words. Repeat each sentence imitating the speaker's stress pattern. The first group consists of content words only. Charles Jones taught English. Shirley reads aloud every day. Aunt Janet always makes long-distance calls. Jason plays basketball. The next group features question words. Where's Mary's school? Why is Charlie leaving? When's Sally's party? Who's coming? The next sentences feature demonstrative pronouns. What's this? That's Jessica's ball. Why are these here? We wanted those. The next sentences include possessive pronouns. That ticket's mine. This is yours. Barbara got hers. David sold his. We bought ours yesterday. They gave theirs away. Unstressed words. There is no stress on most function words in a phrase or sentence. Say them quickly with an unstressed vowel, but be sure to pronounce the consonants clearly. Repeat the examples from the following groups. Trying to imitate the speaker's stress pattern. Group one: the articles a, an, and the. A dog. An apple. The chair. Group two: prepositions. For a dog. With an apple. On the chair. In the house. Through the door. Of a family. To the hospital. Around the room. Over the hill. After the concert. Before the show. Group three. The subject pronouns I, you, he, she, it, we, 
and they. I know the lesson. You found the book on the shelf. She tells secrets to everybody. He talks on the phone too much. We eat fish on Fridays. They travel to Europe a lot. Group four. The possessive pronouns my, your, his, her, our, their. My car. Your friend. Her dress. His brother. Our house. Their camera. Group five. The object pronouns me, you, her, him, us, them. I saw him. They told me. We asked her. They warned you. My dad helped us. Put them on the table. Group six: the demonstrative adjectives this, that, these, those. This book is interesting. She bought that house. We like these shoes. Those boys talk too loud. Group seven, forms of the verb be. I am here. He is a tall man. They are all sick. We were in the garden. He wasn't late. Group eight, the expressions there is and there are. There is a car in the driveway. There is one apple in the basket. There is jewelry in that box. There are too many cars on the road. There are five people in the family. Group nine, the two before a verb. He needs to work. I like to eat early. My mother loves to cook. We want to see the whole movie. Group ten. Auxiliary verbs. I am working in the house. She is talking on the phone. He was helping them. When do we start school? Why does he travel so much? Have you done your work? We have been working all day. He had always told the truth. They had had a bad day. Group eleven, modal auxiliaries. John can come. Joe has to work. Sam should leave. We would like to help. You mustn't go in the street. Kathy doesn't have to work. Group twelve: Who, whose, when, where, why, what, 
and how in the middle of a sentence. Jenny has a cousin whose name is Smith. Do you know where she lives? Only Courtney knows why she said that. He didn't tell me when to come. I can figure out how to do it. Group 13. Other short function words. Mary and Bob have plenty of food. Such as sandwiches, cakes, and cookies. Joe, not John, has been here since noon. Scott was worried because his wife was so late. I'll stay until he calls. Then I'll leave so you can study. Although you're sick, you can eat with Carolyn or Sue. I don't know whether he was late or not. If you eat that much, you'll be as sick as a dog. Exceptions. The negative modal can't is usually stressed. When auxiliary verbs and modal auxiliaries are not followed by a verb, they have strong stress. Repeat the following examples. She can't help him with the cooking. I'll come to the party if I can. We would lend you the car if we could. Carol has a new car, but Margaret doesn't. He doesn't know I'm unhappy, but I am. Practice for mastery. Repeat the following sentences to practice unstressed words. The money is in the bank. He came over to talk to me. She can help him with the cooking. I should buy a new dress for the wedding. We could lend you our car. I will send you a letter tomorrow. They're walking to the store. He didn't work because he was sick. Karen and Danny stayed until they knew whether or not Val was coming. Extra stress. Any word can be given extra stress to emphasize or clarify a statement. Listen to a sentence with normal stress, then repeat it. I wanted to go to the circus. Now listen to the same sentence with extra stress on the word circus. This gives the meaning that the speaker was taken to a different place and he is annoyed. I wanted to go to the circus. Another way to say this is I didn't want to go to the movies. Now listen to and repeat another sentence with normal stress. They didn't go to France. Now repeat the same sentence with extra stress on the word France. This stress corrects another person's belief that people went to another country. They didn't go to France. Or they went to Paris, Virginia. Repeat the next examples of extra stress and try to interpret their special meanings. I lost my ring on the way to the store. He gave her the money. He gave her the money. 
He gave her the money. He gave her the money. Be careful not to use extra stress if you do not intend special meaning. Practice in context. Next, listen to the following paragraph, paying close attention to the stress patterns. Learning to speak a language is a little like learning to dance. They both take a long time to master, but are fun from the beginning. Both require interaction with another person who is saying or doing something different. Fluent speakers and good dancers don't have to think about their skills, they perform them naturally. To acquire these skills, you need a lot of practice and patience. Encouragement from someone else helps a great deal. Now, repeat the paragraph one phrase at a time after the speaker. Learning to speak a language is a little like learning to dance. They both take a long time. To master, but are fun from the beginning. Both require interaction with another person who is saying or doing something different. Fluent speakers and good dancers don't have to think about their skills. They perform them naturally. To acquire these skills, You need a lot of practice and patience. Encouragement from someone else helps a great deal. Read the paragraph aloud again, practicing the proper stress. Try recording your reading on tape to see if it sounds natural. Here is another paragraph. Last May, we had a surprise party at my house for one of my friends. It was his 50th birthday. We invited about 30 people, and most of them were able to come. One couple even traveled all the way from New Jersey. Several people who'd been away for a long time were here. Most of the guests hadn't met each other before the party, but they were having a wonderful time talking during the half hour before the birthday man arrived. It seemed that a very special person was a magnet for other special people. When he got here, he was really surprised and happy to see so many friends. It was a good party. Now repeat each phrase after the speaker. Last May, we had a surprise party at my house for one of my friends. It was his 50th birthday. We invited about 30 people, and most of them. We're able to come. One couple even traveled all the way from New Jersey. Several people who had been away for a long time were here. Most of the guests hadn't met each other before the party. 
but they were having a wonderful time talking. During the half hour, before the birthday man arrived, it seemed that a very special person was a magnet for other special people. When he got here, he was really surprised and happy to see so many friends. It was a good party. Read the paragraph aloud again, comparing your stresses with those of the speaker. Part 4 Intonation Unit 38 Greetings Listen to the intonation pattern in the following examples and repeat them imitating the highs and lows of the speakers. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Hello. Hi. Excuse me. Take care. Be careful. Drive safely. Say hello to your mother. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. When you say the name of the person you are talking to, add a second pattern to the previous greeting. Now repeat these phrases. Good morning, Bill. Good evening, Miss Jones. Be careful, Emily. Say hello to your mother, John. Unit 39. Statements. Pattern 1. Listen to the speaker's intonation pattern in the following examples of one-phrase sentences. Then repeat each sentence. She's my sister. They're from Venezuela. We're going to visit them. He's here. I have a dog. It's beautiful. We love it. Pattern 2. Listen to the following examples of two phrase sentences and repeat them after the speaker. He's here, but she isn't. I have a dog, and you have a cat. She's my sister, and he's my cousin. When I see him, I'll tell him. After you get here, have a cup of coffee. Before you start, take a deep breath.
Unit 40. Questions. Pattern 1. Tag questions. This is the same pattern used in the previous lesson for a greeting followed by a name. Repeat the following sentences after the speaker. He's coming, isn't he? You're a lawyer, aren't you? My sister told you, didn't she? You'll come to my party, won't you? Pattern 2 Tag questions indicating displeasure. A message of displeasure can be conveyed by changing the intonation pattern. Listen to the same sentences, noting the change in the speaker's tone, and repeat each question. He's coming, isn't he? You're a lawyer, aren't you? My sister told you, didn't she? You'll come to my party, won't you? This pattern can also indicate confidence in the response. As before, repeat the example. The water's nice, isn't it? Pattern 3 Questions with Question Words. You will note that this is the same pattern as that used in greetings and one phrase statements. Try to imitate the speaker's tone as you repeat each sentence. When are you going? Who is the teacher? Why are you crying? Where did he go? When an answer to your question is suggested, it is on a higher tone. Repeat these examples. When are you going, Friday? Who is the teacher, Miss Smith? Why are you crying? To make me feel bad? Where did he go? To the movies? The answers to the preceding questions have their own pattern. Repeat these examples. Yes, Friday. No, Miss Jones. No, I can't help it. Yes, to the movies. Pattern 4 Questions Indicating Annoyance. Next, repeat these questions that show annoyance through the intonation pattern. Why do you ask? When is he coming? Where did you hear that? Who did this to you? Pattern 5 Questions without question words. Here is the last set of questions. As before, repeat each one after the speaker. Are you happy? Will he win? Do you like it? Was she there? Were they hurt? Did you see it? Forty one. Counting and listing. The intonation pattern used in counting and listing is a series of level and rising tones that end with a final drop in pitch. Repeat the following examples of counting one, two, three, four, five. Four hundred and thirty seven, four hundred and thirty eight. Four hundred and thirty nine, four hundred and forty.
Now repeat these examples of listing. I need shoes, socks, shirts, and pants. He ate two hamburgers, french fries, and an ice cream cone. She likes perfume, chocolates, flowers, and money. Unit forty two Options Pattern one When the question requires a yes or no answer. Repeat each question, then listen to the answer to the question and repeat it. Would you like potatoes or carrots? No, I would rather have fruit. Are you unhappy or uncomfortable? No, I feel just fine. Will he eat ice cream or cake? Yes, he probably will, but he should be on a diet. Would you like a drink or something? Yes, please. I'm thirsty. Pattern two. When the question offers a limited choice, repeat each question, then listen to the answer and repeat it. Would you like potatoes or carrots? I would like carrots. Are you unhappy or uncomfortable? I'm unhappy. Will he eat ice cream? Or cake? He'll have cake. Practice in context. Listen to the following dialogues and repeat each line after the speaker. Can you help me with these boxes, Steve? No, I can't. Why not? They're too heavy. I hurt my back. And I'm not supposed to lift anything heavy. Well, how am I going to get them upstairs? Call John and see if he'll help you. Hi, Carol. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you, Miss Johnson? Fine. How's school these days? Oh, it's okay. But we have too much homework. Are you going to the game? Yes, are you? No, I have to clean the garage. Okay, see you later. Bye, drive carefully. Where are you going, Mom? To the movies. Do you want to come? Oh, I'd love to. But I have to go to the library. 
The library? Wow! I'm really proud of you. Are you doing research? No, I'm going to pick up my friends. They need a ride home. Come live with me in the city. You'll have lots of fun. I don't like the city. It's too noisy. There's too much traffic and pollution. And there's no place to park. Why don't you come live with me in the country? I hate the country. It's too far away. And there's more traffic out there than in the city. Besides, there's nothing to do there. Don't you get bored? You're looking for an argument, aren't you? I can see we weren't meant for each other. Don't be silly. I think this is a perfect relationship. I really like living alone. Part 5 Appendix Section 1 Following are more examples of words that contain each of the vowel sounds and that represent their various spellings. Read each word as you hear it pronounced, then repeat it after the speaker. The sound a. Uh. About. Above. Adore. Again. Ahead. Ajar. Allow. Alone. Annoy. Appear. Around. Away. Elect. Emerge. Enough. Essential. Exact. Exactly. Object. Occasion. Offend. The sound I. Did. Fig. Gin. His. Kids. Lip. Live. Pin. Sister. Tin. Win. Zip. Building. Guild. Guilty. Quick. Quilt. Symbol. Him. Nymph. The sound u. Uh. Bush. Cushion. Pudding. Cook. Good. Hood. Rook. Stood. Wool. Wood. Wood. Should. The sound E. Need. Seed. Deep. Q. 
keep, creep, squeeze, extreme, machine, squeal, lead, leap, please, tease, clean, floppy, silly, lovely, friendly. The sound oo, mood, boo hoo, coo, goose, moon, noon. Soon. Zoo. Whose. Drew. Grew. Jew. Jewel. Jewelry. Stew. Clue. Glue. True. Junior. Truce. Tune. The sound, you. Pew. Hue. Hue. Unity. Universe. University. Useful. Usual. Utility. Fume. Huge. Municipal. Mute. Puny. The sound a.、Uh. Above. Dove. Shove. Ton. One. Bun. Fun. Stuff. Sun. Ug. Tough. The sound, e.、Eh. Beg. Bend. Crept. Leg. Lend. Mend. Regret. Rest. Send. Lept. Pleasure. Ready. Stead. Tread. Jeopardy. The sound O. No. So. Loan. Loaf. Grown. Shown. Known. Stone. Phone. Boulder. Although. Dough. Grow. Blow. Show. Toe. Mow. Below. Joe. Foe. Toe. The sound or. Bore. Gore. More. Store. Tore. Dork. Fork. Forty. 
North. Short. Worn. Bore. Floor. Poor. Quart. Wart. Court. Hoard. Roar. The sound oi. Coin. Des Moines. Groin. Join. Loin. Boy. Destroy. Enjoy. Joy. Ploy. Soy. Toy. The sound e.、Eh. Jam, can, fan, land, pan, ran, van, hand, stand, care, dare, fair, glare, pair. Stare. Fair. Hair. Pear. Bear. Tear. Wear. The sound a. Crate. Crave. Fate. Frame. Grape, lame, late, plain, same, save, state, tame, tape, staple, clay, fray. Gray. May. Play. Pray. Stay. Cafe. Resume. Gain. Grain. Plain. Refrain. Remain. Stain. Train. Gray. Hay. Pray. Way. Buffet. Fillet. Persuade. Feign. Freight. Nay. Rain. Way. Wait. Great. The sound aw. Gone. Belong. Long. Prong. Song. Wrong. Call. Fall. Mall. Tall. Wall. Auction. Caucus. Daunt. Gaunt. Haunted. Jaundice. Jaunt. Jaunty. Pause. Raucous. Taut. Caught. Fraught. Haughty. Taut. Body. Crawl. 
dawdle, flaw, jaw, lawn, raw, saw, tawny, bought, brought, fought, sought, thought. Rot. Broad. The sound a. Ah. Black. Brat. Cap. Castle. Crack. Dad. Dagger. Dapper. Fasten, flag, flap, flat, gag, gash, hash, hat, jack, lack, lap, map. Nap. Pack. Quack. Rack. Racket. Sack. Sash. Slash. Stack. Tack. Trash. The sound, ow. Bower. Brown. Clown. Cow. Flower. Frown. Howl. Jowl. Now. Owl. Plow. Prowl. Shower. Tower. Town. Vowel. Wow. Dower. Flower. Gouge. Loud. Mouse. Mouth. Hour. The sound ah. Father. Garage. Ha ha. Hawaii. Wad. Wash. Watch. Yacht. Bother. Clock. Crop. Flop. Mop. Office. Plot. Stock. Stop. Top. Entree. Ennui. The sound, r, bar, barn, car, carbs, carve, dark, far, farmer, farther, jar, lard, park, star. Starve. Tar. The sound I. Bride. Fire. Higher. I'm. I've. Invite. Kind. Quite. 
trite. Twice. Denied. Dried. Fried. Tie. Tried. Blight. Flight. Might. Plight. Sigh. Slight. Haiku. Height. Cry. Cypress. Fry. My. Buyer. Die. Lie. Section 2. Next, you will hear lists of words that change from one vowel sound to another with the addition of the letter E at the end. Look at each word and note its spelling as you repeat it after the speaker. From I to I. Bid. Bide. Hid. Hide. Rid. Ride. Sid. Side. Dim. Dime. Tim. Time. Din. Dine. Fin. Fine. Pin. Pine. Win. Wine. Grip. Gripe. Pip. Pipe. Rip. Ripe. Trip. Tripe. From a to a. Bad. Bade. Mad. Made. Cam. Came. Dam. Dame. Gam. Game. Lamb. Lame. Sam. Same. Tam. Tame. Ban. Bane. Can. Cane. Dan. Dane. Pan. Pain. From a to a. Fad. Fade. Lad. Laid. Gap. Gape. Rap. Rape. Cat. Kate. Hat. Hate. Mat. Mate. Nat. Nate. Rat. Rate. From a uh, to e. Eh. Bar. Bear. Car. Care. Far. Fair. Mar. Mare. Par. Pear. Star. Stare. Tar. Tear. From A to A. Wad. Wade. From A to O. Rob. Robe. 
cod, code, mod, mode, nod, node, rod, road, tom, tome, cop, cope, hop, Hope, mop, mope, slop, slope, dot, dote, not, note, tot, tote. From e to e. Met, meet, pet, peat. From a、uh, to oo. Rub, rube, tub, tube, dud, dude, done. Dune. From a、uh, to you. Cut. Cute. This concludes pronounce it perfectly in English. I'm Julie. Good luck. Bye now. This is Steve. Thanks for making the effort to speak English well. I'm Jean. This is Rick. I'm Mary Ellen. I hope your efforts bring you success. And this is John. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs>